Hey everybody and welcome back. We are going to try a 2D explosion problem using the conservation of momentum. Let's start by reading the problem. A firecracker placed inside a coconut of mass M initially at rest on a frictionless floor loads the coconut into three pieces that slide across the floor. Piece C with a mass of 0.40 M has a final speed of 5.0 meters per second. What is the speed of piece B? if it has a mass of 0.01 m, and then what is the speed of piece A? Here below, we have a diagram of the three pieces moving in their directions. Just to clarify, this diagram is a sky view, so you are looking at the list from above. Let's first identify what we know. The problem describes the coconut's mass with m. We can just make m1 for the sake of simplicity here. If we do that, then the mass of the three pieces can be easily expressed. Mass A is 0.5 kilograms, mass B is 0.1 kilogram, and mass C is 0.4 kilograms. We only know the final speed of speed C, which is 5 meters per second, but we don't know the final speed of A or B. It might be helpful to draw the diagram if you haven't done so yet, so let's do that real quick. Problem first asks for the speed of piece B after the firecracker has gone off. We can do this by using the conservation of momentum, but we have to be careful as this is a two dimensional problem. Piece B moves in both the y and x direction. So the question is do you want to focus on the x direction or the y direction? Looking at the diagram, all three pieces move in the x direction, while only two pieces, B and C, move in the y direction. To deal with less unknowns, we should focus on the y direction first. First, we start off by stating the y momentum is conserved. PIY equals PFY, which just means the initial momentum in the y direction equals to the final momentum in the y direction. However, initial momentum is zero as nothing is moving. The final momentum is mass A times final velocity A plus mass B times final velocity B plus mass C times final velocity C. Piece A is not moving in the y direction, so we can cross out the momentum altogether for piece A. We're left with only B and C. To focus on the y direction, we can rewrite the equation to use the sine function. We have all the known information in our equation, so let's plug it in. Last thing to consider is for piece B. B is moving in a down direction, so something must be adjusted. You have two options. You can either place a negative in front, of, in front or place a negative in front of the angle. Either way works. After working it out, the speed of piece B is 25.65 meters per second. The next part of the question asks for the speed of A. We can use the conservation of momentum again. But since piece A moves left, we'll have to focus on the x direction only. Let's start off by stating that the x momentum is conserved. Px equals Pf, Pfx, which is again just the initial momentum in the x direction, equals to the final momentum in the x direction. No pieces are moving before the explosion, so the initial momentum is zero. The final momentum is represented by mass A times final velocity A plus mass B times final, final velocity b plus mass c times final velocity c. Nothing is getting crossed out to zero as all pieces are moving in the x direction. We'll also have to use the cosine function to focus exclusively on the x direction. For piece a, you can put an angle of 180 degrees to imply the negative direction.
we can finish the rest of the final momentum expression as we have all the known information. Finally, we can solve for the final speed of piece A, and it is 3.99 meters per second. All right, that concludes our problem, and I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, everybody, and stay safe.